Today we're going to teach you a great recipe for skirt steak. It's easy and you can do it from start to finish in 20 minutes or less. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to make the dry rub for the steak, which is critical for skirt steak because this is not uh, something that you have to leave it overnight or that it has to sit in the refrigerator. This is something that you can do and spice it and put it right on the grill. So the first part, uh, you want to take a tablespoon of chili powder. And this is for a proportion for about one pound of just a little more than a pound of skirt steak so you can adjust it accordingly also if you don't like your steak that spicy uh, you can uh, make a little less of this uh, dry rub one tablespoon about a little less of brown sugar you want one and a half teaspoons or even two teaspoons of ground cumin and cumin is a really key ingredient some of these things are not absolutely necessary but cumin is a very key ingredient for skirt steak one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano all right, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Put about a teaspoon of salt, preferably sea salt, all right, and about a teaspoon of, of uh, cracked pepper. And then we're gonna mix it all up. So the first thing you wanna do is take the large uh, steak that you bought, and you're gonna cut it up into little uh, smaller rectangular sections. And when you do this, it's important, as you can see, the grain of the meat runs this way. So for this part, we want to cut it with the grain, like this. So we have our steak here, and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to it, as well as uh, some lemon or preferably lime. We don't have lime, so we're using lemon juice, like that. And then you just want to mix it to make sure it's all over the steak. And now finally we're going to put the spice on the meat uh, and you want to make sure it's a good layer on all sides of the meat. And then you just want to mix it up a little bit to make sure the spice is evenly distributed on the steak. Now as you can see here we've got some spice left over. Um, it was uh, too much for the quantity that we have here. Um, this is good for about one and a half to two pounds. So what we're actually going to do is keep that spice and we can use it in chimichurri which we'll teach you how to make in a different video. Alright so the great thing about skirt steak is that it doesn't have to cook for very long. Um, you can prepare this, have it on the grill and have it off the grill all in a matter of about 10 minutes. So the cooking time for a rare, medium rare type of steak is about two and a half minutes on each side. So that's what we're going to cook ours. If you like your steak more well done, obviously you have to adjust, but just keep in mind you don't want to keep this uh, skirt steak on for too long. So we've got our timer to two and a half minutes, and here we go. And this is over being cooked over I don't know if it's clear in the camera, but it's being cooked over white hot, very, very hot coals. All right, so now we're going to flip the steak and cook it on the other side, also for two and a half minutes. It's been two and a half minutes, and we've actually made some adjustments here to get these pieces fully cooked, because it's a small cooking area. It's also very cold outside. It's about 40 degrees out here right now. So um, it's ready to come off. Um, you're going to put it in a piece of foil like this and wrap it up and let it rest. Uh, for uh, five to ten minutes once it's out. Okay, as you can see, it's wrapped now, and uh, we're going to rest it for five to ten minutes. Okay, now remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that when you cut the steak to prepare for cooking, you want to cut it along the grain, which is running here, and we cut it like this. When you cut the steak for eating, you want to cut it against the grain, like this because uh, that makes it break up and uh, be very tender and easy to chew. If you cut it like this, it's going to be very chewy um, and it's not going to be as tender. Also, as you can see, I'm going to be cutting a little bit at an angle. That's just a presentation thing. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it definitely looks good that way. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please like the video and comment below. Let us know what you think. 
subscribe. We're posting videos every Thursday. See you next time.